Hello and welcome back to my Mega Wang 2000 Turbo Edition hardware update. I've just released SDK version 1.0.0.8 on my itch project page and I'm going to go through how to assemble this afterburner demo from source code. So let's dive into the source. When you download the SDK build, it just comes as a great big zip file. So if you unzip everything and have a look at the readme.md file, it goes through some simple instructions on how to build and run. So you can, for example, run the convert.bat for the first demo and then run buildit.bat or convert3.bat for demo3 and buildit3.bat for demo3. But we're going to be running demo14, which is the afterburner demo. You can run this from the command line or you can import the files into your own preferred project management or text file editing suite. But basically if you run the batch file for the relevant project, so we're going to run in the assets folder convert14.bat. Convert14.bat just does some various conversion steps for converting all of the lovely afterburner assets, plus also generating some data files that's used by the demo. So the SDK comes with all of these sprites, and that's what this batch file will convert. Let's open up the batch file in Notepad++, just so we can see what it does. It runs a Python tool for generating some perspective tables and animation tables and rotation and everything like that. That's used by the demo code. It then goes through and uses the image conversion tool, which is also included in the SDK, to convert all of those image files. It takes a little while because it's generating quite a lot of data. As it's doing that in the background, we can have a look at the buildit14.bat file. We can have a look at what that's doing. Oh, there we go, it's almost completed its image or asset conversion. If we go back to the directory and we can start prepare to run build it 14.bat but we can just check to see what that does in notepad plus plus we can see that it just simply runs the acme compiler with main 14.a as an include file it then compresses it up and that's for running on a commodore 64 later on if we want to inside the asm folder we have main 14.a and main14.a is actually quite small and that's because it includes all of the other source files for the afterburner demo from the afterburner subdirectory but basically it init's the title screen runs the title screen init's the game intro runs the game intro and init's the game and runs the game and it does that in the full game loop although the game doesn't exit at the moment so it actually doesn't go through the game loop more than once we have all of those source files which are included by main14.a and you can peruse those later on and that's what we get after we convert all of the assets and we run or assemble and then run the code we're greeted with the rather nice little animating grid of rotating balls that gets exploded by one of the missiles and then comes back again and it goes through this little attract sequence all of this is pretty much sprites we can see the scaled sprite car carrier, aircraft carrier, and then we go into the game and we can fly around using the arrow keys and I think the control key is fire. We can fire a missile. We can fire several missiles, actually. This is all 6502 code running on an emulated 1 megahertz 6502, which is what's inside the Commodore 64. I will include a link to a longer video which goes through all of the other video uh, demos in the SDK, but I just wanted to show this one running because it looks rather pretty. The Sprites 4 layer, which Demo 14 uses for the super scaled sprites functionality, has now been debugged and I've sent off the design files and hopefully it will get built over the next 15 to 20 days and then I'll be able to produce another video showing it plugged into my Commodore 64. Thank you very much for watching these Mega Wang 2000 Turbo Edition hardware update videos along with my Commodore 64 retro
videos. If you like this kind of content, then please do consider liking or subscribing to my channel, and I hope to catch you around next time. Have a great day, evening, or night, wherever you are. Oh, and fly safe.